Hey guys, Bill Wang here. I'm filming this video as an introduction for my Fast Friday question and answer session, uh, which will be this Friday, July 3rd, on the Rubik's official Instagram account at 12 noon Eastern time. So a bit of background about myself as a Cuber. So I'm a Canadian speed Cuber and I've been Cubing for 10 years. And some of my biggest accomplishments in Cubing have been becoming 4x4 blindfolded world champion in 2017 at the WCA Worlds and also winning the Red Bull fastest hand uh, at the 2018 Red Bull Rubik's World Championships. I've also achieved 94 national records and 9 North American records and I'm still currently 8th in the world in 3x3 average. At my peak, I was 3rd in the world in 3x3 average and Besides this, I also have numerous other podiums in, in major competitions, especially in 3x3. I've podiumed in U.S. Nationals 2016, U.S. Nationals 2017, and Asian Championships 2018. So, I'm going to give you guys a bit of background of how I started cubing and why I became so passionate about it. So, how I started is one day my classmate brought a cube to school and he solved it in front of the class in about 30 seconds. So I found that to be very impressive, very cool. So I went out, purchased my own cube and learned how to solve it using an online tutorial. After learning how to solve it, my next goal was to become faster than my classmate. So I learned new algorithms, new methods and uh, used the online resources available to me and I was able to achieve that in a few weeks. Now, once I was able to get faster than my classmate, I still wanted to improve more. So I kept on learning and kept on practicing because I kind of became addicted in a sense to the uh, the, the enjoyment of improving and become, getting faster. After about a month, I also found out about WCA competitions and there happened to be one nearby. Uh, so I attended and that really cemented my passion for cubing. I not only was able to meet a lot of friends who had a similar passion as me, but I was very, very amazed by some of the top level speed cubers at the time who were solving it, solving different events so much faster than me. So that really inspired me to want to improve my level and to keep on getting faster. Now, at the beginning of my cubing career, I became very fast at two by two and big cube blindfolded very quickly. And those became my favorite events at the beginning of my cubing career. Eventually, after a couple of years, I also started getting very fast at 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, and one-handed. So I started liking those events more and practicing them more. And to this day, 3x3 is still probably my favorite event, and I also enjoy 4x4 and 5x5 a lot as well. Now, I'll do a solve for you guys. Um, this is a Rubik's uh, Paris World Championships 2017 cube. Uh, it's very, very nice, and I think it's a great collector's item and a great cube to use. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright. Alright. It's not too good, but oh well. Yeah, so I really uh, look forward to the Q&A session and I'll, I'll catch you guys there. I uh, hope you guys have a great week.